Ren River paints the life she leads, and that life is a unique blend of many influences. Her studio is in the congested city of Los Angeles, but her inspiration is the wide open spaces of the American West and the people and animals who live there. That really appeals to me. I just love that. And I don't like to have a lot of things in my paintings. I like it kind of almost like huge space. I like the space around me. Her work is not the realism of I mean, traditional wait, Western wait, art. Me, it's kind of a cross sorry. between realism okay, and impressionism. Okay. If you're painting in realism, you don't necessarily take them to another place. You take them to a place they've seen before. And that's what I like about being this abstract Western artist is the color might send you someplace, the clouds over the characters might send you someplace, the beaches definitely take you to another dimension, and there are usually not a lot of figures in my pieces. So it kind of makes you a little bit more pensive, and I think that's kind of enjoyable. Ren's love affair with the West began as a little girl at her father's ranch outside Los Angeles. My mom, the total opposite. Now, she had a nightclub, a wild, wild nightclub, and that's where my music interest and my poetry came in. I used to perform in the club. We all laughed at each other, sang songs to one another. All of those interests come together in a very listenable CD called Buck and Heart. It's a mixture of poetry, painting, and music. There's pain to poop when it's leaving the shoots. That old fucking heart is just a feeling the blues. I tell stories, and I, um, my stories take you to the places my paintings are. Those paintings are based on real places, real working cattle ranches in Nevada and Texas. I started going to cowboy poetry gathering because I'm a poet also, and I, I write a lot of poetry. I met a lot of wonderful poets there and uh, a lot of uh, really nice ranchers and a lot of friends, and they've invited me onto their ranches. That led to lengthy stays at some of the biggest ranches in the American West, where she experienced cowboy life firsthand, the hard work, the beautiful country, and the down-to-earth people. The lifestyles, the way they lived with their families and the, how they were very close and something you don't see very much anymore. It's very old-fashioned. I guess I like that. Ren took her camera along, photographing the people and places she would later recreate in painting and poetry. And I met some wonderful cowboys, and one in particular that I write, used to write quite a bit about. I remember the first time I saw you, the first time my eyes laid upon you. While Ren's work is based on real life, she always rearranges what she sees in intriguing ways. I will take a photograph that's totally in the daytime and paint it in the evening, which is something you don't see very often. In, um, in horse riders, you don't see them riding at night. So there's kind of a mystery involved in that. I kind of like that. Another mystery you'll see in many of Wren's paintings is an ominous little cloud hovering above her subject. And why the white clouds? I just don't know. I love clouds, and I think sometimes just one cloud up there, you kind of just wonder why. Lately, she's been documenting the cowboys and cowgirls of Southern California, like this work, Bardo Cowgirls, and another, California cowgirl. We went out to the ocean, went riding. Again, it was a really pretty day, but I wanted to kind of make it a little bit more mysterious with this ominous, you know, white cloud out there, make it a little bit different. Everything about Wren's work is a little different. Paintings that have an identity all their own, traditional subjects colors. in you untraditional know, settings, painted in colors few people would think so of. It's an intriguing, mesmerizing, see, fascinating combination and it's one that's made Ren River a truly unique and successful artist. To learn more about Ren River's painting, her CD, and other work, contact her on the internet at renriver.com. Well, that's it for this edition. We'll be back next time with more cool stuff from today's Wild West. I'm Mark Fedor. See you down the trail.